um, that was a, uh, you know, it's certainly a very interesting experience, and I think it looks terrific in the movie. You know, we had a wonderful production designer called Grant Major. You probably don't know that name, but he actually did Lord of the Rings. So he created this whole world, this whole planet um, of Oa, and uh, I think it's the first superhero really that that is not earthbound in terms of as you say, Metropolis or one of these uh, big cities, what he does is he goes to the center of the universe, which is the uh, base of the Green Latin Corps. Right? So it, it was, um, uh, I guess it's the first, um, it's the first uh, superhero movie that does that. Yeah, and the cosmic ambition of it, in a way, it almost harkens back to the era of, say, a Flash Gordon or a Buck Rogers, where you would have an earthly flung out into these uh, sort of outer space adventures. Right? Absolutely, and in this case, of course, Hal Jordan is um, taken up there by the ring, and of course, that's where he gets his training to become a green man. And uh, Mark, you had uh, a lot of fun in this film. You have, I, I was telling you backstage, I enjoyed your florid face. Thank you very much. <laughs> tell us a little bit about your character. I know the fans know Sinestro, but uh, tell us how you found it, a little bit about it. Um, look, the first thing that I got very interested and excited by was the way he looked. I thought if we could um, achieve that uh, in Flesh and Blood, that would be an amazing thing, because obviously he's an alien uh, from the planet Horrogun, uh, sector 1417. <laughs> <laughs> sure comes. Mm -hmm. Did you know he was married to Aaron Sur's sister? Aaron Sur, yeah. Yeah, that's, Sir, why, yeah. that's another that's a reason that. that I discovered. Uh, and that's why he's so upset that Armin Sur is uh, dead, not only because he's mental, but uh, he was his brother. Uh, but he's a hard taskmaster, he's the head of the Green Lanterns at the time that we find him, and uh, doesn't believe that humans are worthy of uh, being part of the court, which is why he gives Hal such a hard time. And you know, the core is one of the most interesting aspects of this, Donald. I mean, in a way, it's almost like uh, stepping into the cantina scene in Star Wars, where you have this sort of this confederacy of faces and, and all these different species and things like that. Was that one of the things that you were most excited about when you came to the project? Yeah, it was, it, it's an incredibly rich world because in the, in the Green Lantern mythology, the universe is divided into 3,600 sectors, and each sector has a Green Lantern chosen to protect that sector. So we have 3,600 crazy, different, unique alien characters from all these different worlds, and it's a very rich, obviously, you know, thing that's rife with all kinds of possibilities. Um, and we, uh, for this first movie, chose obviously Sinestro and Kilowog and Toma Ray to be the kind of uh, main lanterns with Hal Jordan that we kind of really get to know on OA. And then we had um, the, the rest of the 3600 in the core, but we, we couldn't obviously individually render each one of those separately. It was very, uh, you know, time, labor, intensive CD animation. So we chose 25 hero members in the core. We kind of went through all the common films months and really picked out Martin and Grant Major and everybody, our favorite kind of iconic Green Lantern characters, and they kind of comprise the front line, if you will, besides uh, Homer Race and Esther and so on. So it just offered this incredibly rich, really uh, kind of, you know, fascinating world. You know, Martin, one of the uh, things I find compelling about uh, your career is that with uh, with Zorro, you took a, a, a character that we very much knew, had a lot of history, and then found a fresh way to get him on the screen. And then with Bond, and, and, and more than once, uh, you found uh, the appropriate tone for a character in mythology that had been around for quite a while, uh, and was in need of something new. Uh, did that, those experiences help you mine what you needed out of the Green Lantern comic books? Was that sort of instructive? Well, the, the point is it's the origin story. As you all know, that, that of course there are five human um, Green Lanterns, and Hal Jordan was the most popular, and so he was the obvious choice. And there's a very specific, uh, there's a very specific uh, story about Hal Jordan, about how he becomes a Green Lantern, who he is, um, and uh, his journey through that. And, and so we, I think we stuck very much to the origin story of. Um, how Jordan didn't we? Oh, I think yeah. we kept pretty much to the and, and 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 those fans that have actually read that origin story, I'm sure there are many here that have done that. And I think we are pretty loyal towards that. We, we didn't deviate much from that. You know, from that story. And then, Mark, you know, uh, in this film, Sinestro and Hal Jordan don't get along well, but 
they are trying to kill each other. I'm not saying that that might change in the future, but I have read the comic books. Uh, how does that affect the way you and Ryan Reynolds met on the, on the set? Is it, I'm just curious how you guys approach each other. Kind of, were you mad on you? I guess that's my question. <laughs> well, the, fir the first, uh, the stuff we had to get out of the way was the, the flight sequence. We had to kind of work together on that, so we were thrown straight into it. Um, uh, he's a very lovely guy and a very easy guy to work with, so uh, having to be kind of so strict with him all the time was quite difficult because uh, he, he's a very personal um, guy, a very professional guy. Uh, yeah, he was great. We, the fight scenes were, were tough. We had to do a lot of flying, so we spent a couple of weeks getting to know each other before we actually shot them. Things. And when we did, we, we wore um, uh, these skin-tight grey outfits with dots on. Uh, in a big blue room full of cables and cameras, and it was quite an extraordinary experience. Uh, but but uh, we bonded over it. And Donald, for you, I mean, this uh, this project has taken you to the.